I'm going to talk a little bit about simplifying algebraic expressions, just to make life a little bit easier for us to understand. I'm going to use my balance scales to help with this demonstration, and I'd like us to consider a bag with an unknown quantity in it. If I have a second bag and my scales actually balance, I can actually give the same label to each of these bags. So for instance, I could call this X. It's typical to use X as our unknown quantity. So X can be labeled here as well. I don't know what's in the bag, but because it's balanced, they both have the same label. If I put the two of them together, I can actually call them 2X. If I had three of them, that would be 3X, four of them, 4X, and so on. I'd like us to consider simplifying this expression. 3A plus 4B plus 2A minus 2B. I'm not expected to solve this. I know this because I have two unknowns, A's and B's, and I don't have an equal sign. But I can make this simpler to understand. Let's consider the A's first of all. Can I group any of them together? Well, yes, I can. Here I have three of them. One, two, three. And here I have two of them. Now, they're both positive. I can add them together, which I've got here giving me a total of five lots of A. Now I can consider the B's. I've got four of them here. One, two, three, four. But here I'm actually going to subtract two of them. So that will actually only leave me with two B's. So my expression is now simplified to 5A plus 2B. Another area of this topic is also expanding brackets. So let's use the following example to help us, which in itself initially looks very, very difficult. I've got 3 multiplied by some terms in a bracket here, and 2 multiplied by some terms in a bracket here. It might be easier just to consider that as 3x multiplied by 2y, where x is the bracket on the left and y is the bracket on the right. So, what I'm actually saying here is that 3 is multiplied by all of x and 2 is multiplied by all of y. If I apply that to my original equation, I need to multiply and expand the brackets by multiplying the 3 with the 2a and the 4 and then do the same with the 2 and the 4 and the 2 and the minus 2a. I've just moved this down to give us a bit more room. So, taking each bracket in turn, I'm going to multiply and expand each of these brackets. I'm going to take the 3 and multiply it by the 2a, first of all, to actually give me 6a. I then need to multiply the 3 by the 4. 3 4s are 12, positive 12. I then apply the same principle to this set of brackets. 2 multiplied with the 4, is a positive 8. And then the 2 multiplied by the minus 2a will give me minus 4a. Now, using the simplifying expression technique from before, I can put the a's together. 6a minus 4a will give me 2a. And the 12 plus the 8 will actually give me 20. And I've gone from quite a complex expression to a simplified one. Factorising, or factorisation, is also another useful technique within algebra. And it is actually, well, I guess you can class it as the inverse operation of expanding the brackets. Let's consider an example. We're going to try and factorise 12ab plus 18b squared. Again, I am not expected to solve this. I have two unknowns, and I don't have an equal sign. I'm going to start with the numbers. Is there any number which will go into both 12 and 18? And try and find the largest number which will go into both numbers. Well, certainly 3 will go into both numbers, but is it the largest? Well, no, it's not. 6 will go into 12 and 18, and that is the largest number. So I can take that out from both of these terms. So I'm going to remove the 6. Now I'm going to consider the letters. Are any of these letters common to both terms? Well, the A isn't, because it only appears in this term here but B does actually appear in both terms. So B is the letter that which I can take out. I now need to create my brackets. And within the brackets, I need to have the terms which when multiplied out will give me these terms back again. So 6B multiplied by something has to give me 12AB back. 
Well, if I consider the 6 to 12, I need to double that, so that would be the 2. The b already exists here and here, so I need to multiply it by a. So 6b multiplied by 2a would give me 12ab. A little trickier with this term now, I need to have 6 multiplied by something to give me 18. Well, that would be, again, positive 3, but I need b squared. b multiplied by something gives me b squared. Well, in fact, that's actually b itself. Just as in x times x is x squared, b times b is b squared. 6b brackets 2a plus 3b, when multiplied out, would actually give me this back. And that is factorization. I hope that helps.